Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, starting off with none other than Palantir Technologies. So if you want more videos on the best stocks to buy, or if you want more news updates on Palantir Technologies, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's get right into it. In this video, we're going to be analyzing two articles, to where the first one is titled, Kathy Wood Goes Bargain Hunting, Three stocks she just bought. But don't worry, in our next article, I have one bonus stock that you may want to look into. If you didn't know, Kathy Wood is a very polarizing investor to where some investors love her and others hate her. However, recently, she has added to her positions in companies like Palantir Technologies, Datadog, and Rocket Lab USA. And of course, we're going to start off talking about Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. If you didn't know, Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. As you can see on screen here, they currently trade for around $21.56 to where some analysts believe this company could fall as low as $5 and others believe it could surge up to $35 per share over the next 12 months and we're going to be talking about those price targets in this video. The article starts off pretty positive, saying that Palantir Technologies has more than tripled in their share price since the start of last year. However, the bad news for recent investors Investors is that the stock is already more than quadrupled when it reached its peak around two months ago. This means that the company is trading at a rather high share price right now according to their fundamentals and that means that recent investors are going to have to pay a premium just to get into this company. But as luck would have it, recently Palantir Technologies PLTR stock has downtrended around 15% after they released pretty good earnings results. In their most recent earnings report, Palantir's revenues rose by around 21% up to $634 million during the first quarter, which actually beat Wall Street expectations from analysts. Yet despite this good news of Palantir beating on their revenue forecasts and actually meeting investor expectations in regards to earnings per share, their stock price still plummeted by around 15%, which honestly gives some people a good buying opportunity, which is exactly why Kathy Wood of ARK Invest is buying into this company right now. The main reason why the share price is falling right now is because their forecast for the following year and their upcoming earnings results have been lackluster according to investors. But don't let that dissuade you from investing into this company, because despite their recent earnings results, five analysts recently raised and increased their price targets for Palantir Technologies PLTR stock. This should be a very bullish positive sign to investors, because it should be a testament to show investors just how far the shares have actually come for this big data and analytics giant. So now let's talk about some of these price targets. Like we said, the most bullish price target is around $35 per share, in which Palantir's PLTR stock could surge up in their share price from their current share price of $21 up to $35 per share, and that would be a huge payday for investors. But even the most bearish negative analysts also had something to say in regards to the positivity surrounding the stock. As an example, an RBC capital analyst increased his price target for PLTR stock from $5 up to $9 per share. And although this is obviously lower substantially than their current share price, that increase from the most bearish negative analyst on this company is a rather good sign. This is just one of the reasons why Kathy Wood and all of these other analysts are seeing a huge buying opportunity as Palantir Technologies continuously releases pretty positive results. In my opinion, the only reason why the share price downtrended after their earnings results is because their forecast for next quarter wasn't as bullish as investors thought it should be. If investors were paying attention, Palantir's commercial revenue growth actually more than doubled the pace of their government contracting business, and eventually their commercial revenues will outpace and eventually outmatch their government segment, and once this happens, the sky is the limit for this company. If investors really paid attention, they would have noticed that Palantir's commercial revenues are actually outpacing their government business, which is great news. And we've actually predicted that this would happen for the last two years, so it's great to see how this prediction is actually finally coming true. Next up, let's talk about Datadog, ticker symbol DDOG, which currently trades for $117.28. 
Datadog, if you didn't know, Datadog offers monitoring and data analytics tools, which are heavily involved in the cloud. And just like Palantir, after releasing fresh financial results, this company ended up dropping by around 11% in the respected share price, which could potentially give investors a great buying opportunity. So let's talk about it. According to the article, Datadog actually had a pretty impressive earnings report, and unlike Palantir Technologies, they offered pretty rosy guidance going forward for their future quarters. However, despite this, their share price still dropped by around 11%. And again, unlike Palantir Technologies, three analysts chimed in on a Datadog's performance and they actually agreed with the market's reaction by this company falling in the respected share price. Now, what's interesting to me is that Datadog and Palantir Technologies didn't really have a bad earnings report by any means. But despite the good news that I thought they brought in, investors seem to have reacted and took profits, which is honestly exactly what I did. Now, I am just waiting for an opportunity to buy back into these companies which I'm honestly going to do pretty soon, considering that they are down respectively between 15 and 11% in the respected share prices. Now, there was one big problem with the Datadog, and that was because the percentage of customers on their platform using at least two Datadog products fell from 83% down to 82%, which is not very good in investors' eyes, and I can agree with them. However, I would like to remind investors that both the Datadog and Palantir Technologies are still growing very rapidly, and their technology is very impressive. So therefore, I think that these pullbacks are in one instance unjustified, but then again, I love it how it gives me a better buying opportunity to get into these stocks at a cheaper price point. Now let's move on to Rocket Lab at USA, ticker symbol RKLB, which currently trades as low as $4.10. If you look on screen, this company has been slowly downtrending in the respected share price, but eventually it seems that analysts believe that this company will have a major reversal, so listen to this. Rocket Lab recently released quarterly results, but unlike Palantir and Datadog, their shares only fell by around 2%. For context, this company is a provider of space launch services, and they recently saw their revenue skyrocket by around 69%, which is very impressive, but despite this very high number in regards to the revenue growth, it was below what investors wanted the number to be. However, they did come through with a narrower loss than what analysts were anticipating, which is actually pretty good news for this company. But I really want to highlight that if you take a step back, all three of these companies actually had pretty good earnings results. But right now, the market is acting irrationally by beating these very good companies down in their share prices. You should also be aware that Rocket Lab's business is growing. And according to the article, unlike many space exploration companies that are largely pre-revenue, Rocket Lab expects to generate between $105 million to $110 million in the upcoming quarter. However, the news gets even better than this because some analysts are even projecting that next year Rocket Lab will be a profitable company, so you might as well get into this company right now. What's even more impressive in my opinion is that the company currently is trading at a market capitalization of around $2 billion, but when we look at their order backlog, it's over $1 billion. So this just adds to the reason to at minimum put these types of companies on a watch list. This is why I would highly recommend that you do your own research on Palantir Technologies, Datadog, as well as Rocket Lab to ensure that these are good investments for your personal portfolio. But the video is not over yet because we also have one bonus company that I want to talk about, and that is none other than Rubric, ticker symbol RBRK. If you didn't know, Rubric is a cybersecurity company, and they recently had an IPO a few months ago where their IPO price started at around $32 per share, and then it skyrocketed after IPO to about $38 per share before swiftly correcting. Currently, shares are trading for around $33 per share, and I personally think that this company will continuously downtrend in the respected price, but this does not mean that the company itself is a bad company, and here's what I mean. Little do people know that Rubric is actually backed by another artificial intelligence behemoth, which is none other than Microsoft. And obviously, Rubric is not very comparable to other companies like Microsoft or OpenAI, but if Microsoft is investing into this company, then I I think investors should be paying attention. According to this article, what really stands out about this company is Rubrics Cyber Recovery. This is one of their most intriguing innovations that could set it apart from the pack. Perhaps a data recovery after a cyber attack could become just as important as preventing the attack in the first place. So if you are looking into companies like Rubric or Cloudflare or CrowdStrike or even Palo Alto Networks, then feel free to add these other companies to your watch lists. At the end of the day, Palantir Technologies, Datadog, Rocket Lab USA, and Rubric are pretty solid financial investments. 
However, always make sure to do your own research, and even if I or Kathy Wood are buying into these companies, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good buying opportunity for you. This is why you should always make sure to do your own due diligence before you make any investment decision. On top of that, if your portfolio does not already have a solid foundation, by investing into things such as index funds, mutual funds, ETFs, or solid blue chip companies, then buying these more risky investments honestly shouldn't even be on your radar right now. But with that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.